18. And today we're going to be reviewing the Guardians of the Galaxy Basic, uh, Star Lord and Gamora. And also we'll be double uploaded today, hopefully. M probably not though, just don't count on that. So anyway, yeah. So first of all, let's start with Gamora. And first of all, that head sculpt is absolute trash. Looks nothing like Gamora. Not even the cartoon series. And plus, the eyes are just dots in the in the yellow bits of the eyes, so, you know, that is trash! And we got the hair there, the hair's actually really good, shows shadowing, the black kind of darker, and the pinkish kind of bit there, purple, purple definitely. And then we got the red, we got designs on it, we got kind of sculpted in designs there as well. Got the green bit, and the silver kind of shoulder pads. We got the Guardians of the Galaxy actual logo there, and we got the belt. Got the belt there as well, which is quite nice. Quite nice little silver, gunmetal kind of silver. If you go down, we got sculpting designs there on the legs as well. Oh, yeah, we also got like gauntlets, which also have designs on there, sculpted in parts. And then down, we got the boots, which is kind of a gunmetal silver again, with uh, patterns in there as well. So it's good for the articulation. So the head moves out of focus. Head moves side to side. Moves down that far and moves up that far. And the arms move right round. The elbows, single jointed elbows, moves side to side and moves down that far. So you can have a broken hell arm if you want to. I don't know why you would want that. So legs kick forward that far and kick it back that far. And that's all the articulation. So I'm going to rate this figure about a 6. Partly because, well, the head sculpt is absolutely rubbish. It hasn't got any other paint detailing, really, in the actual figure. And the articulation is terrible. So, yeah. Hopefully, the Star Wars figure will rate more. So first of all, the helmet will definitely get it a right more, because look at that, that is a sick helmet. And the hair as well, the brown hair. If you get out, we've got the jacket, and we've got the, like, the darker kind of reds there, which is nice coloration. The jacket, also another thing that's kind of bad. In person, I can definitely see that this paint is different to that paint on the jacket, which is definitely a shame, because if it ever is posed. And also, with the trousers... That bit, for some reason, is different to the rest of the trousers. And also, the boots is the same colour as the trousers. I'm not sure why that would be, because it wouldn't be. I'm pretty sure they'd be different. They could just put that gunmetal kind of silver in there. But, you know, it must be too much effort for them. And we got, like, the kind of top there. The light blue, light grey kind of top. And then, of course, we've got the trousers. The red designs on the boots. Little sculptive hearts there. The red kind of gun holders. So yes, yeah, so it's, it's all right. The detailing, everything's in all right in there. So the head doesn't move, doesn't move at all. It can kind of move it, but that's nothing. The arms move right round. Single jointed elbows and so move side to side and it's down that far. For some strange reason, they all you can break that arms and the legs go forward that far. So yeah, that was Star Lord, and I'm gonna rate him a seven. Because the helmet, but also the G, the paint detailing, mm, no, it's not very good. The hands don't really hold the guns either, so yeah. Together, uh, together, out of both of the figures, I would rate them both a solid 8. Just because they're alright as a set if you just have them. If you have all the Golden Galaxy figures out of this set, uh, they would be quite good, but being as I don't, I only have these two. 8. So yeah, that was uh, my review of Star Wars and Gamora, and yeah, and remember guys, stay reported.